I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out. Before I get going, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video, turn on your notifications. Don't forget that I go live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. And I'm also live Sunday nights, I mean Sunday mornings with the Singing OG KQKC Boxing Network. Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. And please join the channel as a member, drop super chats and super thanks to help support the channel. The more support we have coming in, the more time I get to spend dropping content for y'all. Last but not least, the TKO World Series of Debates Tournament. We kicking back up tonight. It's the championship night. It's the night you all been waiting for, man. This is the night where we see who gonna get this $850. So y'all be sure to tune in, bro. Um, last but not least, man. Last but not least, let's get into the video because I just did last but not least. I'm, I'm doing so many videos, bro. I'm, I'm everywhere, but we got y'all, though. Fight prediction time, man. Robson Consacy out versus Nicholas Polanco. 10-round, 130-pound fight. Polanco out of the Dominican Republic. 71-inch reach, 5'6". 33 years old, 20 wins, 4 losses, 1 draw. 11 wins by way of knockout. And he's been knocked out all 4 times that he ain't lost. And he only got 1 win in his last 4 fights. He is a game fighter with no defense. He tough. But um, he should be picked apart by Robson Casacio. I ain't going to make the video too long. But Robson Casacio, 34 years old, out of Brazil. Orthodox fighter, 5'10", 70-inch reach, 17 wins, 2 losses, 8 wins by way of knockout. He is the 2016 Olympic gold medalist out of Brazil. He's a boxer, boxer, not a whole lot of power. But if you let him work behind his jab, if you let him get comfortable with his distance, you let him fight you out at range, you don't press him, unless your name is Shakur Stevenson at 130 pounds, you got your hands full, bro. And Shakur done left. Oshaki Foster as well. Can't forget about Oshaki. And then Valdez, he did him dirty. I think he has problems with Navarrete. But we're talking about a top 10 level, 130 pounder is um, Robson Casasia. I question his chin. I seen him put down like three or four times by Louis Corey, I believe it was. I done seen him buzzed a few times in fights. And I think it's because he's 34 years old now. And he been at one weight class. His heart, and he a big ass 130. He been at one weight class for the majority of his career, bro. You get in your 30s, it's hard to keep making that weight. That's why Earl, you know what I'm saying? I make weight for Bud. But I need to get up to 154. That extra weight can help you so much as you get older in your career. And quite frankly, I think Robson Casasio, while he's a top 10, 130 pounder, hell, Oscar Valdez is a championship level, 130 pounder. Emmanuel Navarrete is a championship level, 130 pounder. Any of those guys move up to 135, they might not even crack the top 10, bro. So that's why he's like, that's why he's staying down there, bro. I don't mean no disrespect. I don't mean no disrespect. You feel me? But uh, hold on. I don't mean no disrespect with that. But that's why he that's why he doing what he's doing, bro. That's why he is he is at 130 pounds. Now, as far as this fight, I don't see um the the homie um damn my, my shit flipped over, bro. Hold on. What's that dude name? I don't see Polanco being able to close the distance, land anything of consequence on, on Robson Casacio. And similar to the Jermaine Ortiz fight that we just did, I think that, bro, what is, what is people doing? Calling me so damn early, bro. Similar to the Jermaine Ortiz fight, bro, I see, and I apologize, man. We working and doing everything all at once, man. Similar to the Jermaine Ortiz fight, I see um, the homie um, Robson Casasi. I just having too many boxing skills. Too good with his lateral movement. Jab is too crisp um, for this guy, um, Polanco. And Polanco going to be walking into the jab. Casasi going to be able to work off the jab. And then when Polanco do get there, he going to be defensively responsible with his feet, be able to pivot out, lateral move, move his weight out of corners and shit like that. He's just going to put on a boxing clinic. I ain't got too much more on this one, man. I got the homie Robson Casasi out bouncing back, getting the dub and kind of trying to work his way back to a title shot at 130 pounds based off his jab, based off his footwork uh, specifically, bro. He just not a whole lot of power. I don't see him getting a stoppage, but I do think he is going to put himself in position to be able to um, get a unanimous decision. Same as Jermaine Ortiz is in, in, on his fight card, 99, 91, 98, 92. 
um, and just kind of work his way back up and get back in the win column. I think that's what it's set up for him to do, and that's exactly what he's going to do. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Comment below, smash the like, sub to the channel, share the video, turn on your notifications. Appreciate y'all watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we out of here. Peace out, y'all.